Hey, opposing good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be our Philadelphia Phillies weekly show. That is going to be about a couple guys obviously getting um, hired for the staff by our Philadelphia Phillies, Howie Kendrick. Of course, being one of them, former Philly, I honestly would not have had us pegged as the team that Howie Kendrick decided of his former teams to work for, but I'm very happy to have him back in the fold. He was always one of those locker room gel, the locker room guy during his career, so I think I could envision him having some key success um, when it comes to being in management. And then plus, they also hired... Brian Kaplan, who is the co-founder of Cressy Sports Performance, as the assistant pitching coach and director of pitching development. So it seems like they're focusing their takes on, obviously, getting better success in the front office because now we have Dumbro in there and you also, of course, have Foldy, Sam Fold. So you have guys in there you're trying to continue to reshape the front office of a team that has been tarnished by the Mac Lentac era of being of running the team, and also the fact that Middleton, just like Dave Dombrowski called him out for, it seems hasn't given the team enough money to be able to maybe make the moves needed during the Kapler era, who, by the way, won the damn manager of the year. So congratulations to him. So clearly he wasn't the problem. Mac Lentak was. And also upper, 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 the uppest of the most, John Middleton who didn't give the team enough to do anything with. So they make good hires there. They also are Philadelphia Phillies hired Annie um, Colombi, I think is how you say it, to be named assistant general manager, where the Phillies president of baseball operations announced that um, Dave Dombrowski and his role will be to oversee the club's R&D department in addition to the use of all as or the use of data, excuse me, in all aspects of organizational decision making. And he's only a 27 year old kid, pretty much, when it comes to that business, getting hired at that young of an age. And hopefully, someone that's like one of these whiz kids, to use a Phillies, obviously, analogy that are just wizards with the data, but use it correctly, like the Rays, the Dodgers, who made a analytical signing because of his spin rate and movement the Dodgers did with Andrew Heaney the other day to try to bring him into their pitching fold and kind of correct his flaws like they have done with other guys in the past. So the Phillies bring in somebody that has experience with a lot of doing the data stuff at such a young age, somebody that if you hit the um, nail on the head with the signing, hopefully you can have a guy like that around for a while, and he's part of being a key success cog in trying to rejuvenate and get your front office going. Obviously, for the Phillies, as time continues, we want Bryce Harper to win the MVP. Mike Schmidt has been announced as the guy that's going to announce the MVP, so that's got us all Howie and Jolly inside, thinking he will be the one to get it. And then also, we want Zach Wheeler to win the Cy Young, but that's a little bit less likely with the way that that season shaped out. I would be elated if he does, and I will be very happy when I'm doing the video if he does, but I believe that's not going to happen, but I do believe Bryce Harper should win the MVP. So in this edition of the Phillies Weekly Show, I'm going to start doing each week. We went over three very nice hires on the surface for obviously in the management positions, well, two in the management positions, and one when it comes to Kaplan as the pitching coach. So nice job by the Phillies to make some hires. Now it's time to make a splash in the free agent pool and make moves for pitching just as you need and obviously another bat. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And let's go, Phillies. Let's bring that ring the bell energy from hiring people for the staff into getting some free agents. Peace out, everybody.